In this video, we are going to look at a few more tools, um, mainly the line tool, the arc tool, and the pencil tool. All right, so let's uh, create a new file if you haven't yet. So that's to go to File, New, and again, Letter Size, Create. All right, so over here we have the line tool. So line segment tool is if you want to create just a horizontal or a diagonal line or a vertical line, any kind of line for that matter. So to use the line tool, a little bit different. So you would click on one point. Oh, okay, cancel. There we go, click and then drag to wherever you want the line to end. So click and drag, All right? You can also just click like um, it's been happening to me recently. So you can just enter the length that you want it to be. So if you want it to be 600 pixels long, you can enter that. You can change the angle of it. If you want it to be horizontal, go zero degrees and then go okay. And there we have a horizontal line. If you want to move your line around, you can go over to Selection Tool, click on your line and move it. There we go. Um, after you have created your line, you can still move it as well. If you go over to the corner, you have that double arrow, you can rotate it again if you like. All right. And the line is again a stroke, so you can change that as you can change any other stroke, uh, making it a dash line or, you know, adding some kind of effect to it, okay, some kind of style to it. All right. So that's one way to add a line, All right? You can, of course, you can also just use your brush tool and you can kind of draw out a line, but usually it won't be a very straight line. Um, the next tool I wanted to show you is the arc tool. So let's click on the arc tool. So the arc tool is underneath the line segment tool. So if you go over to line tool, hold your mouse down. The second one in the drop down menu is the arc tool. So the arc tool, click, and then just like the line tool, click and drag. There we go. You have a sort of an arc, All right? Again, you can change the, the size of it. You can change the color of it, okay? Those are your strokes. And the next one here is a spiral tool. If you want to create a spiral, again, you can change. Oops. If I want to move things around to make sure that I am on selection tools, I can move that over here. Okay. And a nice little design there. All right. And let's go take a look at your pencil tool. So the pencil tool, I believe it's over here under shaper tool, underneath the shape tool, you have a pencil tool. Pencil tool is similar to the brush tool. It helps you draw lines. The brush tool works more like a brush uh, and the pencil tool is a bit more kind of jaggedy and the, is not as smooth as uh, a brush tool. Okay, it adds more of these anchor points, but don't worry if you go over to your selection tool and you click away from it, you won't see these anchor points. So the the pencil tool draws just like the brush tool does, but it's not as smooth, okay? You can go over here and use a smooth tool and kind of smooth the edges or smooth the curves. Oh, accidentally kind of delete, deleted that, so I'm going to go edit, undo, clear. There we go. There we go. So you can kind of smooth your, your drawing with it. All right. So again, that is the smooth tool. You can also use a path eraser tool. So if you want to erase part of it, there we go. So you can erase some parts of it. That's your path eraser tool. Erases some parts of it. And let's see. And then you also have a join tool. But we'll take a look at that in, uh, in, in a better example uh, in the next week. We'll also be looking at things like eraser, scissors, and knife tool also next week. So that's coming up. Um, but for now, what I really want you to do in this activity is just to play around again 
um, with some spirals, some arcs and lines and the pencil tool. You know, try and use the smooth pencil tool a bit. Um, just get a feel for these different tools. So it doesn't really have to look like anything or look exactly like mine. I just want to see that you have been practicing using the pencil tool and the spiral tool and the arc tool and the line tool. And again, you would go to File, Export, Export As, and this would be Activity 3. And save as type JPEG, of course, and export and OK. Um, 